Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you the Absinthe Jailbreak for 5.1.1. This jailbreak works on uh, all devices that can run 5.1.1, I believe. Uh, I'm going to be demoing it on a iPhone 4S running 5.1.1. Uh, if you want to find out where to download this, all you need uh, is the Absinthe Jailbreak. You can find the link to text instructions with all the links that you need down in the description. Uh, so go ahead and you can, uh, once you download this, you can open it up and you can see I have iPhone 4S with iOS 5.1.1 detected and then it says click the jailbreak button to begin it's really simple you just hit jailbreak and it'll say connecting to the device beginning the jailbreak this may take a while and you should get a progress bar down on the bottom telling you uh, how much it's done this is the same jailbreak that we've been covering for the past few months that Pod2G has been working on uh, you can see Here's the credits down here to Pod2G, Planet Being, everyone else. Uh, so this is the culmination of everything that they've been working on. And it's a fully untethered jailbreak, which means you don't have to do the uh, step you often have to do with Red Snow, where you go back and boot it tethered. Um, additionally, if you're already running a tethered jailbreak for 5.1.1, you should uh, not read jailbreak the whole thing just go into Cydia and search for Rocky Raccoon I believe is the name uh, if I got that wrong there will be an annotation or a, or a correction down in the description um, and just what that means is uh, instead of re jailbreaking the whole thing you should just download that package and it'll untether it right on your device without having to re jailbreak uh, so you can see now we've moved on to the next step, sending initial jailbreak data. This may also take a while. Uh, so just give it a while to complete. Um, it's I've seen it go pretty fast. I've also seen it take several minutes to complete. Uh, if this takes too long, I'll just cut to when it's finished. You can check the time up there to see uh, how long it actually takes. And uh, I'll let you guys know. Alright, so it's moved on to the next step, finding final, sending final jailbreak data, and it'll say on your device, restore in progress. Uh, so that if all that is happening, that means you're on the right track. Um, and my device just has the status bar at the top with the time battery icon, and then it says restore in progress on the screen. Everything else is unresponsive, so that's the normal state your device should be in. Uh, so just once again give it a little while to complete and now it says waiting for reboot not done yet don't unplug your device yet uh, my device now has a spinning uh, loading circle on it uh, but that's just because it's shutting down and after a little after a few seconds your device should shut down on its own and then uh, start back up And after a few seconds, your jailbreak program should recognize it. Uh, may have to boot all the way back up. And now we're back to a spinning circle loading. And now we have a, uh, like the restore loading bar that you usually get after you restore from a backup it says waiting for process to complete and it just gave me the two buzzes that says it's booting up and we have booted up now just wait for it to complete on the jailbreak side of things and now it says done enjoy uh, I just opened up Cydia on my device and it says the preparing file system which means that it is complete and it says Cydia will exit when complete so that's all the steps it's just really simple you just gotta download Absinthe once again check the link down in the description for text instructions and then hit jailbreak once again make sure your device is one of the supported ones uh, you should be you should get a, a little readme with Absinthe in the disk image uh, that tells you if it's uh, compatible but that's all we have for now. It's really simple jailbreak. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.